Hey everyone, it's Sloth and I hope everybody's doing well. I've been doing something a little different lately. I've been playing Arma 3 King of the Hill and this has been a totally eye-opening experience for me on a number of levels. And if you watched my stream recently, you've watched me sort of fail a little bit at King of the Hill. I've had some games where I've done well, but not a lot of them. When you're low level and you have to run around with the 556 TRG, it can be difficult. Only part of it can be blamed on my being new to it. I'm not gonna lie, playing King of the Hill has put me in my place a little bit, particularly with regard to playing close combat in Arma. I thought I was pretty decent at CQB, but King of the Hill has taught me that I'm not, and even with my favorite weapon, the SPMG, I'm having more trouble than I've ever had killing groups of players. One-on-one, -on -one, I'm still pretty good, but I've never gauged myself that way. Anyway, thank God that isn't what this video is about. Turns out I'm every bit as good as I ever was at sniping, and that's always been my trademark anyways. So once I got enough levels to pick up a 408 LRR, I did it immediately. This video is about my encounter with a group of guys who wanted to root me out of a sniping position I was in, and they learned just exactly how effective and resourceful I can be when I have a goal I want to accomplish at Arma. I finished the game 23-1, and, and I'm going to do my best to condense this two-hour game into you know, 10 or 15 minutes, so you won't get to see every kill, but you will see the meaningful ones. So the area I'm sniping from here is the only good spot to shoot at this particular objective. It is a tower, it is also a target, and it's an easy place to get counter-sniped if someone has the skill to do so. Thankfully, most people miss their first shot, especially at long ranges. So that's a good thing for me. And I was playing careful anyways. I was ducking down to make sure I wouldn't be a target unless I was shooting. And when we see the mohawk, that's when the fun really begins. After a while of just picking off whoever I wanted, it felt like nobody had figured out my position, and it was awesome. I just kept going. And finally, I heard the pitter-patter of little enemy footsteps. I have 12 kills on 14 bullets. Wait, I started with 7 mags.
I died. They must have posted a guy on the outside to shoot me off the side of the tower because I thought I played that pretty well with the pistol. Anyways, I'm not going out like that, so I bought an armed prowler. This thing has a 50 cal on top, and I've seen it cut through the walls of those towers like butter. So I sprayed the tower down, and I went back a couple of times to rearm, but I only ever got one of them. I did, however, pick them off several times, until it seemed I had finally cleared my spot out again. I'm having my body looting right now. Sit on the side of the AO and pack this off, boys. Just trying to fucking take over the AO from the outside. I'm just gonna drive right through that park and fucking fall down. Most of them are dead. They just swiped for. The game was coming to a close, and I guess these guys just weren't done. Thankfully, neither was I. I'll let the rest of the video speak for itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this new sort of play-by-play -play style of video, and we'll see you in the next one. Even though there's a player standing next to you. Bye bye, Strider. Number one.
down tower four. I'm down in tower four. Please revive. Thanks, dude. 